In this video, we'll be discussing about the overview of cell cycle. And then after we'll start the series of cell cycle videos in detail. In the cell cycle, we have series of events that takes place in a cell, where the cell divides into two daughter cells. We see these are the cyclic events that starts with the growth, checks and replications, and the cycle repeats again. Furthermore, we divide the cell cycle into two phases, interphase and the mitotic phase, or we can say M phase. During the interphase stage of the cell cycle, the cell grows, there is nutrient accumulation, DNA replication, transcription and translation. And we also have some checks like quality control or DNA checks. And in the mitotic phase or M phase, we have the mitosis of the cell, which is followed by the cytokinesis because cytokinesis is different from the M phase. In the interphase, we have G1 phase followed by S phase and then we have G2 phase. Then we jump to the mitosis, which is followed by cytokinesis. And then the cycle continues. Now let's see the cell cycle in detail. Here in this diagram, we have the G1 phase of interphase followed by the S phase and then we have G2 phase. This concludes the interphase. After that, we have M phase, which is followed by cytokinesis. First of all, let's divide the mitotic phases. In the mitosis, we have first phase, that is the prophase. Second is the metaphase. Third is the anaphase. And fourth one is the telophase. After that, the cell divides completely in the process of cytokinesis, which is actually not the part of mitosis. Now, starting from the G1 phase of interphase. In this G1 phase, there is cellular content duplication except the chromosomes. Like we get the mRNA synthesis, that's the transcription, and we get the protein synthesis, that's the translation. When everything is good, when there are no errors, the cell proceeds into S phase. The checkpoints will be discussed later in the video. Now we are at the S phase, that's the synthesis phase. That means here we get the synthesis of DNA molecule, which means DNA is duplicated here, or we can say DNA replication takes place. Then cell proceeds into G2 phase, where the cell rapidly grows again, prepares itself for the mitosis, and also there are quality control checks. And from here the cell sneaks into the M phase, where first of all we get the prophase, where chromatin condenses into chromosomes and nucleolus disappears. Then we have metaphase, where chromosomes line up along the imaginary metaphase plate. From here, cell gets into anaphase, where chromosomes break at centromeres, and then the sister chromatids move towards the opposite ends of the cell. And at last, we have the telophase of amphase, where the nuclear membrane reforms, nuclear layer reappears, and chromosomes unwind into chromatin. And finally, after all these events, the cytokinesis occurs, which is the actual separation of cell at the end by the cytoplasmic division. If we see it in the diagram, at cytokinesis, we get the two daughter cells. If cell remains out of the cell cycle, that means it remains in the resting phase, we call that a G0 phase. But the cell can proceed into another cycle if all the conditions are fulfilled, like nutrients are available, there are conditions for the cell to grow. Then at that time, the cell goes through all the events and repeats the cellular events. So this is the cell cycle, but there are regulations and checks to it. In here, first of all, we are going to see the checkpoints at different phases of the cell cycle. The first check occurs in the G1 phase at the restriction point as shown in the diagram. This check is regulated by the ATR, ATM, P53 and MDM2 proteins. It checks for the DNA errors and breaks. Then we have intra-S checkpoint, which is done by the same proteins ATR, ATM for DNA errors and breaks. But in yeast, it's mediated by RPA proteins and also by DDC protein, MEC protein and many other proteins. Moving towards the third checkpoint, which is the G2 checkpoint, which is mediated by the same proteins like ATM and ATR proteins to check for the DNA errors. And finally, we have the fourth checkpoint, which is the SAC, that spindle assembly checkpoint. It monitors the alignment of chromosomes on the metaphase spindle. This checkpoint is mediated by MCC, that's mitotic checkpoint complex, 
which includes the BUBR1, BUB3, MAD2 and CDC20 proteins. When all the checks are good and nothing is found to be compromised in the cellular content and there is no error, then only the cells proceed into the next phase. That ensures there are no mutations and cells without any error. So this is how the cell cycle occurs at a basic level. In the next video, we'll be discussing about the mitosis and its regulation in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.